Welcome back to some more Rule of the Waves 2. We're playing Spain. Uh, just picking up right where I left off. This should be part 4, I believe. And we're going to keep going. Let me look here. The ship down for repairs briefly, but that's okay. And you have... How many heavy cruisers left? Two. One that's the same speed as my ship, but inferior guns. Okay. And then one more of the older class. All right. I could do with some AMCs, but we got them blockaded, so they should collapse here soon. These are about done. Uh, as the Corvettes have not worked up yet. Soon, though. Destroyer action. I'm going to decline that. I will take a cruiser battle, though. Ooh. Austrian Raiders. All right. And, oh yeah, it's my light cruisers because everything else is in port. Well, we're going to turn about because I know it's still those heavy cruisers. They still have two left. That's all. I just got to sink two more heavy cruisers. Cruise on out of here. I'd rather not lose my fleet escorts. They've been good ships. They haven't done a ton of work, but it's it's all about half the time it's not necessarily kills, it's about control on the battlefield. And they do provide positional control. Yep, it was that heavy cruiser. Alright. Nice, more advances. They are raiding like heck. And we double blockaded, okay. Yeah, that's they got some weird stuff this time. I'm glad once they fix these bugs. At least when I looked earlier, there was not a fix yet. Velover said that they're looking into it, but yeah. They did change, I forget if it's 1.16 or 1.17, they changed how it resolves turns, and I'm guessing that's why it's acting so odd. Uh, budget, we're doing good. We're almost to larger docks again already. Light cruisers, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Almanac wise, because I mentioned it earlier, is anybody building battle cruisers yet? We are building actual dreadnoughts, which we don't necessarily have the tech for yet. We could build dreadnoughts, but what's going to call them dreadnoughts is because of the speed, not the technology. Yeah. Uh, they are building the first battle cruisers. I want a little bit intel. What about France? They're also building a ton of battleships. Okay. Italy would be probably be my next target. They are neck and neck a ton of heavy cruisers, though. They are have gone ham on heavy cruisers. Okay. So I will probably want a battle cruiser deal with that. Good to know. We'll get a little bit intel on them as well. I just want to see see what the AI is building now. Because I'm gonna have to start preparing for the next war. Destroyer action. Uh, I'm gonna decline this. Bombardment? Sure. Battleship the Trident, one of our newer versions, and the older Radon. It's funny, I laid these down with the 11 inch guns and they got obsolete immediately by those 12s. That's okay though. They've served just well, they're, they're tanky. I, it may even be worthwhile to downgrade them to 10 inch guns and throw on, I don't know, bigger secondaries or something. Actually, it won't let me redo casemates. Never mind. I th yeah. Oh, we spotted a submarine. That's never good. Mm-hmm. Fastest available. Let's get in there. Destroy that bombardment target. Every cruiser might do it before you even get there. Actually doing pretty good. Alright, and we can just cruise right on out of here. Easy victory points. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And a free transport. Nice. Make sure that ship sinks. They do have an annoying habit of getting going again. There we go. 
They're like, oh, the ship's left. Reboard it. It says a destroyer, but eh, I'm gonna let it go. It's probably a Corvette, but if it is a destroyer, it's totally not worth pursuing at night. Definitely a little far to be a transport. Yep, we're good. And perfect. Easy points. Life is good. They did have a couple battleships for totaling. Oh, we missed them in the dark. Nice. Yeah, no. Any damn, damn straight, the uh, negotiations are derailed. They have a ton of raiders out and about, though. Which is not good for my unrest. They got a break here soon, though. I've had them blockaded for a long time. Fuel sor shortage, huh? I wonder what that does. Probably just generic unrest. You know what, the one that is in Southeast Asia, I'm going to put you over to Trade Protection. Let me see if that helps. And one of you in the Mediterranean, the faster ship, will also go Trade Protection. See if we can't deter. They do seem to interfere then if you actually match the types of ships. Um, bigger docks. We're getting yet another new light cruiser out. Right under shipping with our excellent heavy cruiser. The black sheep. The ghost ship. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully we find another heavy cruiser. The heck with shipping. We need tactical control. And bingo. Let's see what we got. Probably their scouts. Come on. Hit me. I'm here. Hit me. Is that really a Corvette? That looks way too big to be a Corvette. I think you've misidentified that, folks. That's a light cruiser. Go squad max, and let's chase this. So which heavy cruiser is this? This is the newer ship, 23 knots. This is the one they laid down in 1900. Okay. Well, first blood goes to us. See what we can't do. See if we can't uh, capitalize on that. And we've taken a hit. We'll try to pound her down, though. DD Leopard hit. We're trading. There you go. A couple more hits. She's now trying to break. So those are good hits. <laughs> she didn't like that. Unfortunately, she's fairly close to port. Wow, she has a ton of escorts here. I will say this for Austria. They went ham on the destroyers this run. Kaiser's still getting hit. Medium damage. Slowed some more. I have a disabled turret. A fortress to forward turret. So that's not great. it's back up mm, it said out of ammo but no, it looks fine Front gun keeps jamming like heck. Guys are hit. There we go. Saying go out. We'll just use the we'll use the broadside guns. We'll get you. We'll get you one way or the other. Come on, sinker. Come on, couple more hits. Just a couple more. 
So you can't take firepower of this magnitude. Bingo. Me are bingo fuel. Yep, you're not getting into port this time. Nope. I build a ship faster than you. Faster and meaner. I just, you know, gotta avoid those balance lances. Those balance lances balance everything, unfortunately. And they are mean. I'm glad I went with how many rounds, too. I went with a larger uh, ammunition supply on this ship, and it's worked quite well so far. It's been enough. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And or torpedo hit. Sad and so tender. -y. Okay, that ship's not going anywhere. We're cruising out of here. We've taken some damage, a lot of medium hits, most of which bounced. So it's classifying the six inches as medium hits. Interesting. They did pin our belt extended, but everything else largely fine. All right, it's cruising out of here. That ship's done. Burning, torpedoed. Stick a fork in her. There goes the back with the crack. So, another victory. Another heavy cruiser down. So their tactical control is rapidly disappearing. That means they're probably going to be investing very heavily in battle cruisers for the next four. Curious. I just like seeing what was the early hit that decided it. Boy, I pounded her. So, 7-inch hit to superstructure. And then it was her secondaries, or 6s and 3s, that were scoring hits on me. 10-inch hole hit. Um, bounced. 2 7s pinned her belt extended. Another pinned her secondary battery. 10-inch fore aft. Belt extended. Yeah, so that one probably triggered the flooding. Could have been this one that triggered the flooding too, but I suspect it was that pin. More flooding, and after that we just started pounding her. Okay. Press for hard terms. Yes! We could take Dalmatia, but instead I'm just going to... We already have tactical control in the uh, Mediterranean good enough. Uh, so I'm going to take the War of Parations. Yep, we're going to go for the economic boost. Okay. So we're going to put all ships on reserve. Uh, these need badly need rebuilds, but I can't bring them in yet. Uh, this ship, we'll give her a quick rebuild. Uh, do I have better guns? Not really. You <laughs> could downgrade them down to eights, but I don't think it's worth the time or money on a ship this old. We'll oh, design for rebuild just to make sure. Yeah, I can't add colonial. So we will instead just save it. Oh, low, low freeboard even. Wow. And we'll just rebuild that. We'll send her overseas and we'll start relieving these other ships and we'll just do quick, cheap rebuilds. We'll have to do the same thing for these here soon, too. The new Isabella came online, and she was just fine. I could do with another one. We're going to have to start modernizing. So we may just rotate these ones overseas and just scrap these older ships. These guys are all fairly new. They could all do with a quick rebuild, I'm thinking. And then we'll just ship them overseas. They don't have colonial service tags, which is better, but... Turrets. Okay. So this heavy cruiser can move you to the Caribbean. Okay, we'll wait till she gets there and then we'll shift one of these other ships back. I mean they are covering it, they're just so expensive, I'd rather not use those. Better nines. Hey, I was just saying, what about better nines? Okay, are you in the Caribbean yet? Yes, you are. So you are going to 
Let's be scrapped. Well, no, I need to rotate. No, we'll go ahead and scrap you. Yep. Uh, we'll take these two older fleet ships, move them to Southeast Asia, and then we'll scrap that other heavy cruiser that's there. Ooh. Yes, I'll take superimposed B turret. I may not understand center line, but uh, yes, I will take a superimposed. Whenever I get center line turrets, hey, we get a chase ship right first thing. I almost got medium wing turrets. And budget is almost done. Uh, oh, good. The Interpeto is here. No. We're not buying anything on the subs right now. Thank you. Have a good day. Let her work up and then put her in a reserve fleet. So that ship is basically a copy of ours with even bigger secondaries. But a few smaller number. Uh, way faster. Okay. So they're up to 25 knot. Secondary wing double turrets up to 10 inches. So we could build a very large cruiser now with cross stick fire, which could be very fun. Get some low espionage in everyone. That ship worked up almost. Are those ships in the southeast? They are. So we will go ahead. This heavy cruiser in Southeast Asia, you're expensive. You're getting scrapped. Good day. Also in Southeast Asia, this ship. Can I, if I move that, say, to the Indian Ocean, let me see if I can get away with that. Fire control range calculator. Yep. Okay, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and scrap this ship. I don't need the prestige. I want the money. It's a cru it's a light cruiser. I don't care about that thing. Okay. Both of these uh, newish ships. We're gonna move them to the Caribbean, and they'll replace these two older ships as well. For the tonnage, we might even be able to just use one. We'll see. Industrial production. Um, you know what? Sure, we'll take those. It's one less gun we have to roll. That's what it amounts to. Okay, one of you. Fleet Isabella's in the Caribbean. So you can be scrapped. Yep. Uh, what about this other ship? If we move her, let's say, to Northern Europe. Just doing a little shuffling. Yep. We can scrap you too. Our modernization program is working gloriously. Scrap everything. <laughs> Works fantastic. Uh, you need to go into the reserve fleet just to save some uh, save some funds. Southeast Asia, the Caribbean, also in the Caribbean. So we're good. We only have one heavy cruiser now operating overseas. So that's good. That's our older ship. She she's good. She's done well, but she's getting a little dated keep saying that don't I uh, we're going to build another uh, over design I doubt we're gonna get much more speed no nah, it's way too expensive we'd have to ballooner now for another not speed no we'll just build another one we'll build probably we can afford one so we'll just build one for now <laughs> Want to maintain at least one light cruiser <laughs> For each battleship in the active fleet. And these ones, I'm going to rename the ships. This one is going to be a Foreign Station. Rename this ship. It's also going to be Foreign Station. Rename the ship to be Foreign Station. And 
this ship. Corn station. South East, South East, Mediterranean, Northern Europe. Okay, we're good. Four ships inactive. Looks good. Destroyers. We're going to rebuild the entire destructor fleet. Uh, they've been just fine ships. We're not going to do anything fancy with them. We just need a wall lead. And they serve just fine as trade protection ships. These older 400s are getting scrapped. These destructors are going to get rebuilt as well. Okay, so get all those rebuilt. Um, we're not building any of. The, well, we are building a heavy cruiser though. We'll, we'll go for the compromise. All right, good. Nothing too fancy. I mean, if they did shut down everything, it would have been fine. I'd prefer this ship not to get canceled. It'd be the biggest thing. She's big enough. She could. Not necessarily for guns, just size. Yep, bigger docks. Let's get everything rebuilt. Sure. Germany's doing German things. Uh, we'll halt, halt construction on the heavy cruiser for a turn. Mm, under arrest. Yeah, we'll take a small cut to budget for now. Our prestige is not fantastic. That's one thing with Spain. You tend to run kind of dry on the prestige because you need to really use it to manage all the things. Side drums, yep. So now we're catching up on tech just through, well, buying it. That's okay though. Uh, we'll resume this heavy cruiser. We need that thing built. Uh, so the new battle cruisers, the 612 inch, 26 knots. I am going to take a snip of this. Just so I know what I'm competing with. A horrible belt. That's a that's a heavy cruiser belt. Okay. I'm gonna save this under my data. Streams, rule waves to Spain. And this is what year is this? Nineteen something? Nineteen eleven ish USA BC. Cool. 1912. Okay, I was close. Off by a year. Just for something for me to reference, because I will be needing to lay down some battle cruisers here soon. Or a battle cruiser is really what it's going to mount to. Mm, we'll get some budget and tension back. Mm, I almost have this other heavy cruiser done, which they're going to be fine with, because we'll probably be in war with Italy would be my guess and they have a ton of heavy cruisers jeez which so this ship's gonna be just fine Get more damage control yep we're just catching up excellent commissioned cool so our economy is actually kicking into gear a little bit Spain, nation data, we are up to 10,200 base resources. So we have beat Austria. Italy, that plus their possessions were on par. And we we're actually slightly ahead because of our possessions. So in terms of raw economy, we're comparable to Italy now. Just from two wars, investing in our infrastructure from, uh, from the winds. So that's good. Very, very good. Way behind there. Uh, still ways behind France. Okay. So we've already succeeded partway. We are now the number, you know, we're the second from the bottom now in the Mediterranean. So hell yeah. Arguably fighting for third from the bottom. Uh, we're just, I'm going to run my budget for a little bit. I'd rather get centerline turrets before I lay down another ship. If not, well, we'll see. Ooh. Yes, please. Treaty with France is perfect because they'll help me beat up whoever else is in the Mediterranean. Germany didn't like it, but whatever, stuff them. Again, that wouldn't be bad. Well, maybe. We're both in the in 
Northern Europe, so is France, so that could be okay. Depends where France decides to keep their uh, fleet. Uh, sure. More damage control. We're just getting passive benefits on subs. Uh, research, I'm going to go put submarines down low. Submarines are a fantastic tactic, but I don't feel like using subs this run. And you'll still get stuff. You just won't be as efficient. Central firing, boom. That is a cr critical technology. So, uh, the newest ship sent her out for refit with Central. Could have improved main guns. She could. Interesting, it now tells you. Six months at 500, that's actually a pretty cheap refit. Nothing better there. I'm okay with that. Yep. Both of these ships. Open design for rebuild. Um. Rebuild. 8 inch and 3. So we could go down to 10 inch guns. So. Pen at 8.9. Okay, so the 11s are still superior. They're not great guns, but they are superior to the 10s in raw pin. So, okay. Uh, we'll keep central firing. We'll save. Yep. Our 10-inch guns are actually good enough to deal with that damn battle cruiser that's cruising around out there now. These older ships... Yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll rebuild them as well. We just... we They're going to be staying in the fleet for a little bit longer. I'd rather not keep 1900 ships past 1915 if I could, but we're Spain and we kind of have to deal bigger docks. It's going to be a massive ship, whatever you build, <laughs> within technology constraints. It's been more in the Navy, absolutely. And USA is a little bit pissy right now, but that's fine. Boy, our... World economies are recovered after the crisis. What crisis? Do we have a uh, depression? Or is this after th uh, the post-war? I'm not sure. Interesting. That's a new one. Um, both of these ships are going to get rebuilt with the new central fire. Check. All looks good. Okay, send them off to rebuild. Doing good. N good old modernization program. And this ship. Center firing. All the ships that really that we can. Center firing. Very cheap, but excellent upgrade. More hits on the target. Improved turret design. That's great. You know it would be even better? Centerline turrets. <laughs> Basic weight control. Also nice. You know what else is nice? Centerline turrets. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep buying technology. That's one less thing I don't have to roll. Uh, Oh, double bottom, great. See, that's all great stuff, but it doesn't apply until I build a new ship. So it's it's a waste of money until you build something. Okay, this ship was just rebuilt. So I'm going to go ahead and swap her into the Caribbean. Oh, wait, wait, was that the newer ship? No, no, that's, that's the twin. We'll move her. And we'll go ahead and rebuild her. Okay. Yep. That'll be fine. Yeah, we'll go budget and tension. Amphibious operations. That's very nice. And stolen machinery technology from us. What could they steal? We're Spain. We know nothing. I mean, I guess we're up, we've rolled four techs, so that's not too bad, but still. <laughs> All right. Continue, yes. Oh, well, well, you're going to just be little snots too, aren't you? New light cruisers. It, yeah. 
Great Britain seems to roll always very, very early on the deck mounted uh, torpedoes. Considering how slow the research rate is, they shouldn't have that. That's so bizarre. Mm, we're getting a decent amount of funds. We have to lay down something here soon. Both of those are ob already obsolete. Oh, great. She's on construction. We almost got these. Okay. The foreign station ship. Let's see here. Northern Europe. You're just built. We're going to move you to Southeast Asia. So we can rotate those other ships. Three million budget per turn. Yep, buy that tech too. Force lubrication. Panama Canal. Yeah. Lose low prestige. Should board aircraft. Meh. Yeah. Feed me more technology, USA. Especially center line turrets. Or really, you know, heavy wing turrets would be fine too. Because <laughs> if I could draw, design a battleship with heavy wings, I don't think I have triple turrets. Yeah, I don't even have triple turrets. I'd, I'd accept a, a ship of triples. Six gun broadside, I'd be fine with that. Anything more than four at this point. Um... About to point, I'm gonna have to just design a new heavy cruiser. Southeast stage, so that one made it. Uh, open design free build. You're gonna get central firing. Save. Yep. That's okay. We're still getting everything modernized, so this is not a total waste. Also, everything in reserve that we can. Mm, France. Get some prestige and tension. We'll mock the French a little bit. They're allies, but we can mock them. It'll be fine. No. We're actually a, a little bit in the lead for once, so. Mm, newest and most powerful ships. Prestige and tension. The glory of the Navy. Alright, we got enough money. I need to build a new ship. Oh, we might just have to lay down a battle cruiser, because at this point, I'm sure everybody. USA is building battle cruisers. So is Great Britain. Nobody else is, though. And they're building battleships. I think we're going to be in question marks for turn 12. Yeah, everybody's building large ships. Yeah. Let's say I design a heavy cruiser. Can I do wing turrets? Let's say, let's say it's F and G, J and K, double. Tens. Smaller than 16. Well, I can do that. 16,000 tons. Let's see. That is okay. And with cross stick fire, above 3 inches must be in casemates. Okay, that's fine. Good donk. And we'll maintain the 7 inch guns. They have been quite the deciding factor. Throw some fives over those let's see some deck mounts oh that's a fast ship let's see 26 knots seems pretty reasonable six seven inch belt two inch belt extended two inch on the deck two inches on deck extended um turrets i want 10 inches of armor turret top let's say four secondaries Two and a half gun data. So mostly impervious. Big of a ship. 19,500. So this is very much battle cruiser class uh, armament. If they were 11s, what would it say? Okay. Yep, and we don't have that size of wing turret. Hmm. 
<laughs> is this worth it? It's a very odd design, but it would be fast enough to compete with those other heavy cruisers that are already cruising around out there. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the torpedo mounts. I do like torpedoes, but once you start getting this big, I tend to try to remove them. 7 inch casemates. Oh, wait, these are 7 inchers, so they are more likely to detonate. Or I could drop down to 6, save the tonnage. Oops, wrong way. Make her slightly lighter. I think I might do that. I do like those 7 inch guns, but. I feel like I don't want to go that big. This isn't that much heavier than my current heavy cruiser. Another 3,000 tons. That's not bad. We'll go triple fire control. 125 shells. It's going to bring it back up to 19.2. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm going to move. Because it's just tacky. Move you back. Something like that. Turret arcs. Not quite. Let's see here. Let's move this. I'm not very good at this. These tend to be kind of difficult to draw, but I do the best I can. It's not too bad. And then number three. Oops, that's one in the back. Well, what is? Something like that. And then number four. I'm terrible with doing the circles. They're just like, oh, painful. Turret arcs, good enough. <laughs> Seems pretty reasonable to me. And we'll go like number six. I say this is the big furnace room area. There we go, good enough. Gun data, pervious until under 5,000 yards. That said, a lot of our engagements are at like 5,000. But slope deck, two inches of armor, impervious to most stuff. Uh, what would a 12 inch gun do to us? No protection unless we got two and a half inches of deck. So let's say we did go two and a half. So, very well protected. Hmm. Purvious out to the longest ranges. Will it let us go 7.5 inch belt? Whoa, that, that ship just got very heavy though. 2 inches. Slow that back down. What the heck happened here? Oh, 12 inch guns. Oops. <laughs> I was confused for a second there. So, and we're very unlikely to take penetrating hits from that kind of range. So now we'll just, we'll stay where we are. Uh, seven and a half inch belt though. Okay. And yeah, I think that's fine. Ten inch turret top, two and a half on secondaries. I think this is going to be just fine. It's just name. The Vizcaya. I think I'm fine with that. 19,000, so about 4,300 tons heavier than the last class. Very much comparable to a battle cruiser, but armored well enough, we should, at least from what I'm seeing, should be able to take another battle cruiser. An actual battle cruiser. We're fast enough. We've got good enough armor and a pretty heavy broadside. So. Not a ship I would normally design, but I think it's just the nature of the beast until we can actually field centerline guns or unlock the. Uh, the next tech. Okay, so just rebuilt. 1915. Are any of these 1915? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so one of these. Ah, it was this one. So we're going to move you back to Southeast Asia. And once you're there, we'll rebuild the last ship. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cause some troubles for Italy. Italy is building... Boy, they are totally dropping battleships. They're just going all in. 
on some subs. Ooh, that's a lot of subs. Okay. So, open design. We'll make a new version of this. Save it. Improved secondaries, huh? Three inches. Fifth quality one. Sure. Yep. And we'll lay down, say, a dozen of those. Twelve. Okay. This new heavy cruiser will build two. We'll build a pair. Spend more in the Navy. Absolutely duly. And we're doing okay budgetarily. Not great. We, we will go broke before both are built, but... Hmm. I'll lower tensions a little bit. Libya has declared its independence. Nice. Zoom back out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do need to build. We got a decent number of the 600 ton. I would like to build some of the new 700 tonners as well. Sure, more armor quality. That's always good. Yeah, we'll take a small prestige hit. It's a little too cherry there. Improved hoists. Docks. Yeah, we well, might just be skipping center line guns. Uh, hopefully, I get some triple turrets. Finally, figured out the working these main battery wing turrets. Nice. Okay, now I can build a new battleship. Of course, my cruisers are under construction, so that puts a dent in things. But uh, that's okay. We'll save up some money and then we'll build a new battleship. Because at least we'll have a respectable broadside when we do. DD's up to 900 tons. Good stuff. Everybody's in reserve. We'll rebuild that one to the same class. Face hardening. Sure. Anti-aircraft artillery. 13-inch guns. That's going to be something. So which would I rather... 12 inch guns, a quality one, which are very good guns. Um. <laughs> Copy this. Or the 13, so if we go. <laughs> Where do the waves go? There it is. And if we go do another snipperoony. And copy. That was the 13s, yes. Because I am dumb. 13. All right. I just got older and just more forgetful. So the 13s, the 12s have a longer range. Oops. Don't do that. Stop that. There you go. Select. Uh, but the 13s definitely have the better penetration. Not much, but they do have better penetration. And as I recall, I believe the 12s, 13s, and 14s all have the same rate of fire. So you basically, if, you, if your 13s are good enough, use them. So we'll have... Better pin for the same rate of fire. Slight less range, therefore slight less accuracy, but yeah. Oh, there it is right down, 13, 12. Okay, cool. So it will definitely be a 13-inch gun that we use. All right. Uh, do we still, we'll sink the prestige just a little bit there. I don't want to push things too much hotter. Finish the reconstruction think them, but we cannot manage it. Mm, Balkans. Yeah, we'll get a little tension, which boosts up there. Yeah. Germany. I just realized we don't have Russia as an enemy. Interesting. Mm, we'll keep out of foreign adventures on this one. 
There we go. Things are a little bit quieter again. These ships almost built. One more year. Is without a doubt. Uh, Italy. Let's boost Italy a little bit. Boating ships to sink there, so. We have the battleship fleet, though they by far. And uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. See if I have to sh shift some ships or not. We'll put that at zero. See if Germany goes quiet. Do I care about in airships? Not really right now. Oh, it's been discovered. Do we use light cruiser? Oh, we're keeping this knowledge to ourselves. These are ours. Currently baffled by triples. Finally figured out the working of steam turbines. Considerable weight savings. Excellent. And we are now positive. Bigger docks. Expected advancements. Almost got the new heavy cruisers. Also that... Uh, I'll leave her there. Active fleet. Hmm. Their fleet. Head in Europe. We'll shift two of these to Northern Europe. As well as this move ship also to Northern Europe. I have a suspicion. Oh, that's already in Northern Europe. Uh, this one. Move ship to Northern Europe. I have a suspicion we are going to end up with Germany. Uh, these don't matter. The destroyers, they are already out of date. Give them a quick wash. Improve main guns. Sure, why not? Some improved three inches. You're not going to use them anyway. But why not? I like that they now remind you. That's kind of cool. And commission to the Navy. France, we're a little hot with, which isn't great. Testing tank hull form. Getting some fantastic technology. Yay, machine gun. And I'm going to let both heavy cruisers just work up. Destroyers, we're going to move half of these to Northern Europe. And research. We're up to what, 900 ton destroyers? Yes. So we're going to design a destroyer. Oh, design. 900. Five inch guns. Ooh, that's a pretty destroyer. I like it. Hmm. Check. Yeah, seriously overweight. Is not a research on the number of tubes. <laughs> How many tubes do I have? Nope. Do I have doubles yet? I'm thinking I don't even have those. I think I'm still stuck on singles. Oh, jeez. I'm still on singles. What is this? Oh, low tech. Uh, we'll go another port center line. Yep, on the conning tower. I'm ready to fire mod, whatever. Don't much care. Go D and E, F and G. And bit too much. Uh, delete F and G. So for that, three on uh, three on center plus two pair. Well, I don't like that position, so we're gonna add those to say J and K towards the butt. Mm, don't like that either. I like them close to that mast. We'll go H and I. Yeah, that'll work. It doesn't feel like it will block as much. Um, nine hundred thirty knots. I think I'm fine with that. That's just fine. And we'll plan on laying down four, no, eight of those. Both those worked up. I'm gonna leave them the active fleet for now. The Austrian light cruiser, 25 knots. Yeah, that's fine. Build these. We're gonna build eight. Yeah, not too bad. That's actually pretty affordable. And our budget's still going up. So that'll be. Four new, for two new battleships I, t I hope to be building shortly. They're working up, actively and actively, budget's looking okay. 
These new guys are kind of expensive, but nope, we are a technology leader right now. Yes, torpedo protection one. Cool. Um, I think that's enough. We're gonna design a battleship. Auto design. What you got for me? Thirteen inch guns. Um, uh, unless something has changed, we do not have. No. We are going to add, and that is very much a British looking conning tower. There, we are going to have to get rid of that. No. F and G, J and K, so we'll go G and J, just to mix things up with cross deck. Yes, fine, but it likes it. Cool. Uh, that tower is all going to have to move. Th that part is fine. That's kind of interesting. This part goes. That part goes. Oh, wow. They can really get fancy with the designer, can't they? I didn't even know you could do a negative space view. Hmm. What I am going to pretend is that I'm going to say it's actually on a uh, I'll say that this is kind of like a proto superimposed layout. Something like that looks just fine. I'm curious about that whole negative space thing. So if I do something like this, let's see, cut it in. Oh, this is hard to do. I brought it up. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Next, we're going to. Move this funnel stern and this funnel. Okay. So aesthetics wise it's looking good. Casemates. Seven inch. Can we do doubles yet on secondaries? Oh, they had to be in casemates when you got cross deck. Okay, that's fine. It's a real way. Eh. I believe we have good quality eight inch guns. So that would be eight eight inch guns per side. I'd want eight inches of armor. I want five inch guns. Say 12, 14. I think that's as many as secondaries that I can have. Oops, too many. Replacement. Oh, I think they changed it now too, so it's uh based upon fourteen. We'll say seven per side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks pretty nice to me. Seriously, oh wait, that's fine though. This thing's gonna be a monster. So basically, using that up at 110 rounds, 4,400. Let's say 115. How much more tonnage is that gonna cost me? This thing's horribly inefficient. Now, it doesn't save much on speed gun data. Totally impervious to your own belt and deck. Horribly, horribly over armored secondaries. Hmm. Let's bring that down. The secondary shouldn't be working that hard. Even goes the sevens have proved just fine. Sevens, the seven inches of armor is just a rule I like. It doesn't have to happen, but I do like it. It make it a little bit cheaper of a ship, which is a good thing. Gun data, largely immune. Deck is way over armored. I feel for right now. Four inches of deck. You can be three and a half and probably just peachy. Four inch on turret tops just fine. Thirteen and a half on conning tower. So strip down. 
It's kind of the whole build up and then build back down. Let's see where we end up here. 3,700 tons. That's a good improvement. A lot cheaper. 3,500 per turn to build. It's be pretty expensive to lay down two right now. Don't want to cut more. Belt is largely impervious. Excellent deck. Deck extended. No, I want two inches there. So we go back up a little bit. 23 knots I'm totally happy with because it's not that much of a change. Could even go 24. That would require a fair bit of tonnage though. 39.5. 39.6 for 24 knot battleship. It would be the king of the seas, that's for sure. Alejandro won. Hmm. I still don't understand this enemy class name thing. And we have TDS1. Four center line turrets, of course, be better, but this is good enough. Thinking. I think this is worth it. This would be a good ship. Okay. Yep. Under construction. So they should have uh, quite the fleet. Yeah, we'll uh, beat up the Austrians again. That's no problem. Mediterranean. Let's mobilize. The fleet. Now we can get trained up again. Let's move you guys to the Mediterranean. And you guys are going to move to Northern Europe. Do a little swap. Other ships in Northern Europe. Uh, you guys can stay. We'll move, we'll move both of you to the Mediterranean. Uh, we're kind of limited on fleet escorts both of you Mediterranean I am going to need some more fleet escorts for sure but at least we're getting a bunch of destroyers out right now uh, the 600s are still in there we got plenty of minesweepers let's move a few of you Mediterranean as well that should be okay nice so we no longer have the negative effects of shipbuilding Bigger docks. Two, four, six, eight. So same gun broadside of a heavier caliber, but a weaker secondary battery. One not slower, significantly less tonnage, but way weaker belt. That is a way more lightly armored ship. Same uh, gunfire. Okay. Granted, we're spending a good 30% more. Ugh, almost close to double. But she's a mighty ship. Mm, the Italians, huh? Uh, no, because we're—I still plan to slap you at some point. Go to build. This is—I thought it was thirty-five hundred at three-four. Oh well. Additional funding. Perfect. Only a thousand in the hole. 16, so we only could do this for 16 months, but that's okay. And it just went even hotter. All right. 1917 design, huh? So they did lay a ship first, 2468. Way heavy broadside. Light belt. This is going to be interesting. Krupp armor. Finally, we got Krupp armor. <laughs> right, I'm going to put the rest of these on low for now. And we'll see if they can cool their heels. Mobilize all our ships in reserve. Clearly. Budget and tension. That means we are at 12. Nope, 11. About to go to war. New destroyers. Excellent. They're still working up. We'll let them work up. 
destroyers. Oh no, Germany just decided to go hot. That's not good. Ooh, yes please. Yes please as well. Finally figured out oil firing. And which is nice because we're about to hit uh, 1920 and oil will be everywhere. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, we need this to cool down. Because I can't deal with both. Because since we lost France, I can't deal with both. Okay, it's a little bit cooler. I uh, think the. Well, we have enough of a budget. That'd be 2 mil in the hole per turn. Yeah, we'll do it. Sure. We'll take that as well. Early airships. I need Germany to go just a little bit cooler. Yes, we will extend. Um say no I hope it doesn't it does push tension with him but nobody else okay superimposed X we have all the superimposed technology but <laughs> not a center line turret in sight <laughs> oh well that's okay Germany just went hot again Wow Ooh. double torpedo mounts that would be fantastic Embarrass Italy? No. We're going to hush it up. We just need tension to go down. I was hoping it was going to be universal, but it's just Italy. Uh, they flip-flopped. Okay. By all means. Yes, buy that so I can keep my budget going. And we are going to eat it. French just got three center lines. Hi. <laughs> You're on my espionage now. <gasps> we just figured out four. Yes. Okay, cool. That's great. We can't afford to do anything with that, but, you know, whatever. We're going to halt construction the second ship. And keep building for just a little bit. Battleship worth. So, massive belt. Undergunned. Yeah. Okay. Boy, we got that even with no. Yep, we'll get more fire control. What? The heck? That can happen now? What the heck is that? Okay, either way, we're at war, but at least Germany went down. So, ships in service location Northern Europe. All of you are going to holla like a bala, and you're all going to move to the Mediterranean. And most of our ships are at good quality. Yep. Better torpedoes. Oh, we're staring at each other. It's brink of war, 12 tension. Could go either way. It will go either way shortly. Need more money. Uh, the French, sorry, but you broke the treaty, so no more tech for you. Seaplane tenders, meh. I don't even have planes yet. Uh, nope, I don't care about subs. We'll research as we go. Uh, current bio, foot by light cruisers, but at least we're trying to research it. And boom, we are at war. Okay. Uh, I think that is a perfect place to go ahead and take a break from here. Thank you for watching. We're in the third Austrian war. I was really hoping it would be Italy this time, just to mix it up, beat up somebody new. But, you know, it is what it is. That said, they have refreshed their fleet. Uh, it looks like they got rid of all their pre-dreadnoughts. While we still have some of ours swimming. And they got even more be dreadnoughts building. So they are... They're pushing. Uh, they've also rebuilt their heavy cruiser fleet, it looks like. Wow, 28 knots. That said, we got two brand new heavy cruisers that should be able to go heavy toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And light cruisers are a tad behind again. But their destroyer fleet's basically gone. 
and their Corvette fleet. So, oh, speaking of Corvettes, before we go, all these guys on trade protection. And I figure about half of these older ones also on trade protection. That should be more than enough for dealing with their currently small submarine fleet. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you next time. Bye.